Hello, April. My name is Sean Everett. I'm the website analysis expert over at Zucor Marketing. Thank you so much for talking with Eric. He sent your website over to me for analysis. So let's just get right into it. Now, uh, the first thing I'll notice, of course, is that uh, your uh, aspen-roofing.com uh, redirects to Utah Metal Roofing. Now, I'm going to assume that uh, aspen-roofing.com is the new um, branding of your of your company since of course that's what it says here so um, you're probably still using your old URL there's nothing wrong with that except it will prevent people from coming to your site and I'll tell you exactly what I mean by that now first off uh, you have a nice site otherwise I mean you have some beautiful custom photos look at that photo it's like one from a magazine um, and you have been in business, what was it, 40 years, I see? I, where did I see that? About us, I can't remember now. But you've been around a long time doing what you do, and that is tremendous. And uh, you have a great site. It deserves to be seen, and it's interactive. There's a lot of things to click. There's a lot of uh, interest there. And, you know, a good website like this is sort of like inviting somebody into your business and say, hey, here we are, come see us. And uh, so that's exactly what a beautiful website is for. But getting people to the website is what is paramount because nobody is going to hear about how beautiful it is and show up. They're going to get here only by a couple of means, and that is either looking at the bottom of your business card or going to Google and searching for something that you are in. Now, the first thing I do when I do an analysis, of course, is look at the site itself. Now, the second thing I do is I go and look at this paid tool that I have. Now, this gives me a bunch of the metrics of your site. And because I'm using aspen-roofing.com, you will see that all of these numbers are zero. So as I talk about these numbers with your uh, with other, <laughs> other companies in mind, uh, you had no traffic as a result of that. Now, that's a shame because you deserve to have some traffic. You created this website with the idea that it was going to be something that brought you money and brought you uh, customers. And right now, it is not doing that. So I am going to show you exactly why and how and how to correct that. Now, uh, the second thing I do after the paid tool is I go to Google and do a regular old Google search for South St. South St. <laughs> Salt Lake City, Utah. Oh my goodness. I cannot believe that I screwed that one up. I have spent so much time in South Salt Lake City. I can't tell you. Um, but uh, here we go. Uh, the first thing you're going to find on a Google search is uh, a, a, the sponsored ads. Now, the sponsored ads, of course, means that they were paid. They paid to get to that spot. Now, there's nothing wrong with that, but a lot of people do consider why would you pay to be on a list of the best to the worst? And that is not at all what Google is. Most people don't know how Google operates and therefore they can't take advantage of it. So what I'm going to tell you today is exactly how to take advantage of Google, how to have your site show up on a Google search result and how that will absolutely bring money into your pockets. Now, uh, the first thing I need you to know about Google is that everything that is on a Google search result is the result of a Google algorithm. They have an algorithm that determines the placement of absolutely everything. And it does all of these things in the blink of an eye, plus it has a lot of things that it has in memory. Now, an algorithm is just a mathematical construct. It's kind of like, um, I don't know, your dog uh, walking through your house looking for something to sniff. Uh, finally, it will find something to sniff and it will be satisfied. That's what the Google algorithm is like. Now, um, it's looking for three basic things. Now, the first thing it's looking for is to have you fill out a Google business profile. Now, that's right here. And uh, as you can see, there are uh, only three of them listed here. And the Google business profile will ask you some questions like what year your business started, uh, what your actual hours are on a daily basis. There's some tick boxes, and it's going to ask you to prove that you own the website that you are um, signing up for. So that's probably a good fail safe. Now, underneath the uh, map pack, as we call it, uh, we have what we call the organic search results. Now, these are also the result of the Google algorithm, so it's nothing really organic. It's not like if you do this search tomorrow or the next day, 
that anything is going to change except for what, uh, unless somebody does something inside of their website. That will actually change the order of things. Not instantly, but soon. Now, the first ones that you're going to find underneath the map pack are lists. This is Angie's List, Better Business Bureau. It changes from uh, region to region. Expertise.com, obviously. SRS Distribution, they are a roofer supply company, so they don't really uh, relate to you. Yelp, obviously. And then here, this is the first actual roofing company on this list. They are one, two, three, four, five. Five. They are sixth in line here, and that is also not good. They could become much higher in this, as you should if if you follow what I'm <laughs> what I'm showing you. Um, and that is because uh, of uh, content. Now, content is something that has gotten a kind of a dirty word because of TikTok. That everybody's out there trying to make content, but that's not what Google wants. Google wants you to have content on your site itself. I just copied and pasted your entire website into this word counter. Now I'm going to do the same with the, uh, what was it, FBC? That's them folk here. I'm going to show you their website and I'm going to do the same for them. I'm going to copy and paste into uh, this website over this word counter over here. Uh, select all, paste. They have 776 words. Now, Content is actually king at, at Google. They want to educate their search customers, and they have determined that the lowest number of words you should have on your homepage for the educational purposes of their uh, search clients is 1,500 words. Now, you have 253. Your competitor over here has 766. They're not even, well, they're a little bit over halfway there. But... Uh, you have a bit of a ways to go, and it's not hard to get 1,500 words on your web page. It really isn't. Um, but all words are not equal, and I'm going to show you what I mean. Now, the keywords that you don't have any of, your competitor has 191. I'm going to show you what their, their keywords are. Obviously, there's going to be a lot of folks looking for FBC roofing specifically. That doesn't really matter. Roofing contractor Lehigh, uh, Riverton. Uh, FBC Roofing Utah, Riverton, um, Utah County, Roofing Contractor South Jordan. You see a lot of these are actually just about place names. These are the keywords. Now they could be taken from a variety of sources. They could come from other websites that are your competitors. They could come from Google searches. Um, oh, Bountiful. I really loved Bountiful when I was there. Um, and they're all looking for, uh, the, the algorithm is looking for words that are specific. So, for instance, uh, it does not know the difference between contractor and contractors. It does not know English. It knows steel roof repair contractor. It's going to look for that. If it says steel roof repair contractors, it's going to omit it from that look. But it's probably got that on a different search, so it will find it the second time around. Now, um, Master Elite Logo, I don't know what that means, um, but these are things from your, uh, oh, Soffit Orem, there we go, that's one. I know what a Soffit is, and I know where Orem is, so that's kind of something from your industry and also from the communities around you. Now, um, that is what I have to say about keywords, but here is what I'm going to tell you next. Uh, you also have to be... Uh, uh, conscious of your backlinks. Now a backlink is where your site appears on a different site. Uh, your competitor here has 64 backlinks and that means that for instance they have uh, they, uh, a profile in Yelp. Uh, they went and claimed the profile, they put their website on it, that has a backlink to their site now. Um, Yellowpages.com, Superpages, This Old House, you recognize those. You want your backlinks to be in the 70s to 90s. That's what you want this domain rating to be. This is the domain rating. It's a rating of 0 to 100. And it is the strength of a domain's backlink profile, meaning a lot of other sites refer to this site. And the way that Google thinks about it is like this. The more people that are talking about you, the more important you must be. Uh, in the Google world, a link is like talking about somebody. So expertise.com is uh, somebody uh, something that people talk about a lot. That makes it have a very high rating. And as a result, it's also one that you want to have 
uh, refer back to you because that means more people are going to see your site as a result. Now that's the um, Google thinking on that one. But uh, here's what it comes down to. Uh, as you saw last month, you had zero traffic. That's not good at all. They had 153. So they had 153 more opportunities to get a, an estimate, to get a client, to get money in their pocket. And that's what it all comes down to. It just comes down to a mathematical equation. Who has more? Who's going to get more of it? And FBC Roofing is by nowhere near the top. They're number six in this list. You could shoot right up to the top if you do the three things that I've talked about. And that is one, the map pack, uh, filling out the Google business profile. Two, getting some keywords. And also number three, getting better backlinks. Now, those are all things that will help your website tremendously. I'm going to assume that you would rather spend your time roofing than dealing with the interior of your website, which is why I think that might be why you would like to give Eric a call and he would be glad to guide you through the next steps. Thank you so much for watching and have a great rest of your day.